Hello everyone, welcome back to Art Craft Primer, where we love us some what? Transformers. And? All kinds of things. All kinds of things. And today we're going to take a look at Orko from Masters of the Universe. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I got this for Nikki, but she hasn't had a chance to do reviews. We've been busy. We are actually on the process of moving and stuff. So a lot of things are changing around here and... Autocrit Prime will be doing a like a online auction of some of my actual collection, uh, things that I won't be keeping that I'll be moving to, but He Man will not be one of them. So we're going to take a look at Orco today. So first things up, we're going to go ahead and get Orco out of his prison, and we're going to get into his transformation now. There is a uh, cool thing uh, that the art teacher has found is this company does these knives. And they are absolutely awesome knives, uh, to be honest. And highly, highly recommend them if you can get them. Now, there is a comic book inside this thing, and there's obligatory artwork on the back. Dealing with Orko, fighting against Beastman, hitting with a water... And it says, pose on flying stand for levitating action. Twist into powerful battle positions. Like, like Orko really has battle positions? I mean, come on now. It's Orko, right? 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 All right, so we're going to take a look at Orko right here. And these are the figures on the back that you get with it. And we get this nice artwork. I wish, honestly, as an artist, I kind of wish that we had the artist's name. I understand why Mattel didn't do that. I understand because of stuff dealing with Funimation and stuff like that. They didn't want an artist to be able to claim any rights to any of their characters. Totally get it. But I do, like, I would really love to know who is the artist of this. Because he's really good. And he actually puts his, uh, his heart into, or her, excuse me, or her art into each panel that you see it's some of the best artwork um i've seen in a long time honestly because if you see what's going on in regular comic books today that's just been a living nightmare and so there you have that each story ends up going into the next story which i find really interesting which means that it, each comic book you get is like the next episode going into the next uh, the next line. And so with that, that is Orko. Now, Orko comes with a stand. And I like it. It's a nice, hard plastic. Um, and you put in this little piece right here. And it just clips right in like so. And it has where it can actually move. It has two joints. I actually like this. The only other uh, toy company I see that actually gives you stands, because Hasbro... And it's like trying to rob you blind lately uh, with some of the stuff it's been doing. Uh, you know, you don't get stands. You pretty much get stands with uh, the company McFarlane Toys, and I dig that. So let's take a look at Orko. Now, Orko is extremely light. I do know that he's pretty much hollow right there, and you do have this, this two-tone hat thing. But let's take a look. We're finally getting to Orko that actually has a nice little head tilt. And I like the fact that the head's on a ball joint and he goes wiggly waggly. Ooh, yeah. Hello, I'm your human. Oops, I dropped it. That's what I say to our uh, baby cat. Uh, Orko has nice little wrist rotations right here. Nicely done. Elbow straight out and in. The bicep rotation, the shoulder joint. Um, I'm not sure. We're, we're going to test it here. I'm not sure, but I think that maybe, yes, these do come undone. So you can uh, unpeg him like so. I actually love the way this head, I, you can get him in some dynamic poses. Let's see. You go right here, do his rotate of his arm, have his hand like so. And there is Orko looking like he's going to go into the battle mode. Then you take the little peg right here. You're just going to pop it up inside his little booty. 
and you have where Orco can be, and this thing goes all the way around. So you could pretty much get this as some very cool dynamic poses. So if you want to do uh, your stock motion with these guys, you can actually do that, and it holds it right into place. I love it. I think this is awesome. And, um, yeah, if you can and you haven't seen Orca, you get a chance to find him, you should, especially if you're a He-Man collector, get this bad boy, put it in your collection, and definitely read the two evil, the good and evil Orca. Uh, I love it. And you got the sparkles down here in the bottom, which is a nice thing with the, the coloration. And, uh, yeah, there you go. And as you can see, it sets really well in any direction you choose it to be in so there is orco and so uh very very cool next video that should be going up very soon will be where we're going to be taking a look at this bad boy pet thor with skeletor as always like my grandfather said hold on to something from your youth you'll never grow old look to the stars grab one for yourself maybe maybe just maybe you can be like orco know the secret of Eternia.